Step 1. Verify that all the parts are present. Step 2. Each leg will have a number on it. Step 3. Each main frame leg tube will have a corresponding number. Step 4. Unfold the main frame of the unit. Step 5. Make sure the cross strut locking pin engages into place. Step 6. Insert one of the legs into the corresponding leg tube on the main frame. Step 7. Push the locking pin in and continue sliding the leg into the leg tube on the main frame. Repeat steps 6 and 7 for the other three legs. Step 8. To adjust the height of the leg, push in the locking button and twist the leg slightly. Step 9. Set the leg to the desired height and twist the leg back until the locking pin engages. Repeat steps 8 and 9 for the remaining legs. Step 10. To unlock the locking casters, lift up the locking pin. Step 11. Turn the locking pin 90 degrees and release. The pin will lock in the unlock position. Repeat steps 10 and 11 for the other caster. Step 12. To lock the casters, do steps 10 and 11 on both casters. Manually turn the caster until the locking pin engages. Step 13. To disengage the anti-reverse ratchet, swing it up until it engages in the override bracket. To engage, push the anti-reverse ratchet away from the override bracket. Step 14. To fold the unit, push in both strut locking pins and fold the front legs towards the rear legs.